Khan Academy, we are working on divide decimals, divide whole numbers by one tenth or one hundredth. So seven divided by one tenth. So I do like to remember that one tenth is the same as one tenth written out like this as a fraction. Okay, and that helps me to remember when I see that 10 there that I'm moving the decimal one place. So in seven divided by one tenth, I'm gonna take that decimal and here is my seven and there's where my decimal would be. I'm gonna move it one place over to the right. So now my decimal is gonna be right here and I'm gonna fill in that empty spot with a zero. So my answer here is 70. So one tenth just reminds me that I'm moving it one place. Okay, and I like to think I'm moving it one place for every zero in the number. So nine divided by one hundredth. So now I have a hundred, so I'm gonna move it two spots because I move it two spots for, um, one spot for each zero. So nine is my number and there's my decimal and I'm gonna move it two spots, one, two, and there's my decimal, and then I'm gonna fill in my two spots with zeros. So nine divided by one hundredth is nine hundred. Okay, and another way we can think about this is if you had nine full pizzas and you split them up into a hundred pieces each, you split them up into hundredths, you would have nine hundred pieces. 15 divided by 1 tenth. So again, you can think about this if you have 15 pizzas and you split them up into tenths, how many pieces are you going to have? Okay, so again, 15, but then I can also use my decimal, okay, and it's 1 tenth, so I'm gonna shift it over one space and add my one zero, so 150. Or think about 15 pizzas, split into tenths. Okay, that would be 10 pieces in each pizza, so that would be 150 pieces. 848 divided by 100th, so 848, and remember, even though we don't see that decimal, it's right here, and if I have 848 pizzas, and I split them all into 100 slices, 100, this tells you, okay? Then I'm gonna move that decimal one, two places, and add my zeros in, and we would have 84800, zero, zero, so 84,800 slices. 430 divided by one tenth. So 430, And there's my decimal. And then one tenth means I'm gonna shift it one place over and put my zero in. So four, three, zero, zero. Now again, I keep reminding us because I don't want you to strictly just memorize this moving the decimal thing. Think about what's happening here. 430 pizzas and you divide them into sections that are one tenth, so each pizza would have 10 pieces, okay? So 40, 430 divided by 1 tenth is kind of the same as 430 times 10. 72 divided by 100, so if you have 72 pizzas and you split them into 100 pieces each, we're gonna bump that decimal two places over so that, and then fill in our um, empty spots with zeros, so 7,200. And five divided into tenths, so again, we have our five, and we're gonna move that decimal one place over, so that would be 50.